Watch and behold the amazingness of the Tesla. Oh my gosh, the red streak looks even more insanely cool. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Tavs today. Oh, we're back with some more awesome action. If you did not see the last episode, where were you? You missed probably the best one yet. The Neon Faction has been released. Well, not to everybody. They want to get a lot of feedback about these units, so you can comment below letting them know, letting me know what you think of the new units. I'll, maybe if I see something very important, I can tweet it to them or whatever. But leave those comments below letting me know what you think about them. So all the maps have been updated. So here's Scotland. Okay. Here's Japan, probably the coolest looking change. It looks amazing, like really, like it's it's in the artwork, the artwork looks great. I mean, it's just a sweet looking map now. Denmark's all snowy and got big ice peak things. Sahara's got the pyramid and then the neon city. <laughs> I freaking love this map. So guys, if you didn't see it, the neon units are here. And I actually didn't see what they look like on the red side. So here's what I here's what I'm thinking, okay? So in the last episode we did a lot of testing. Well, not really a lot of testing, but we checked them out, saw what they were all about, and they're pretty freaking cool. Now, if you weren't if you didn't see the last episode, let me walk you through the various units. So this right here is the energy shield the energy pistol unit. The energy pistol unit shoots you guessed it, energy pistol shots, and he died. <laughs> Not a good show, man. Not a good show. Let's put it against peasants. Okay. I guess we're just doing peasants. So he does have decent range. <laughs> he killed the peasant in one shot. So I wonder, oh yeah, the headbutter has a ton of HP. I totally forgot about that. So the energy, the energy pistol guy is pretty good. Uh, he, in, with a group, he's awesome. The energy sword, lightsaber, here we go. Look at this guy. Oh, and uh, those things that are spitting out back there are bombs. So if a unit hits, if something hits those, it like warps time. It makes things go crazy. And if you want to see like what they can do in a mass number mix with the box gun, go back and watch the intro to the last episode because it's freaking incredible. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just add a couple more on here. Uh, so here's the energy sword guy. So next up we have the Tesla. The Tesla is probably, probably the most OP unit in game, next to the Dark Peasant now. And I'll show you why. So, we, we tested this before. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, this number of peasants, right here, look at that. Yeah, right? Huge number. No match for the Tesla unit. Watch, and behold, the amazingness of the Tesla. Oh my gosh, the red streak looks even more insanely cool. Look at so he he forms an arc lightning like I don't know what you want to call it energy light bolt that goes through tons of units I don't know how many at one time like four or five units at one time oh it's gonna blow oh <laughs> so I've noticed that they do one of two things they either warp time they explode like that or they make they shoot everyone up in the air so I think there's three different versions of that which is kind of cool. So the Tesla, by far, in my opinion, is probably one of the most OP units. Then we have the Gravity Dude, which if you guys did not see this, the Gravity Dude is a, a pretty cool unit. So uh, he works really well in conjunction with other units, but if you didn't see what the Gravity Dude does, just check it out. He just sucks everyone to him. <laughs> oh, there's one guy left. He would have... Okay, he would have won that. He just... He goes all derpy and then just sucks everybody into him. Oh, he didn't get them all. Maybe it's because I slow mode it. So the Gravity Dude is pretty cool. Uh, he's, he's one of my cool favorite units just because of like the uniqueness. Uh, then we have the Beamer. So the Beamer is, oh my gosh. The Beamer is insane. So watch this, guys. So if we do, if we do something like this, check this out. So not only does he have insane range, but he can kill multiple units at one time. Just like the Tesla guy. Shot takes... He takes a while to shoot. Maybe it's getting in range. I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's moving up. So, he doesn't have, like, insane range, I guess. I think he had greater range than that. But he takes a while to shoot. But he kills everybody. I mean, a huge line. So, the idea that I have here is, with this guy specifically, is to test how many guys just one of them can actually kill. Uh, I thought this would be a, a pretty interesting and cool test. So we got to keep them in line, though. So other people have done this with, like, you know, cannons and stuff, but 
This unit is just primed for this type of thing. Okay, that's a lot of units. Okay, let's do that. Will he kill all these guys? Let's see. Watch the bolt come through. It's so fast. Here it comes. Here it comes. Any second? Wow! He killed all of them! And the bolt is still so fast, I can't even see it. Oh my gosh. So the Beamer is, pre is a pretty impressive unit. Uh, you slap a couple of those on the back of a battle. Could change the tide for sure. So then we have the Projectile Shield. Which is, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It, they look so cool in red. Oh, look at that. Wow, I, I'm, I'm really debating on if I want to do like a red thumbnail or a blue one. Just because of the fact that uh, blue looks like Tron, you know. It looks really cool. So these are anti-projectiles. So let's do muskets. Napoleon. So check this out. So first of all, they will zap them if they get close enough. But then if they shoot, the muskmen try to shoot. Look at that. Just kills them. It's crazy. What about a, I wonder, a cannon is technically a projectile, right? So it should, uh, I wonder if it'll block a cannon shot. And let's see, can it block more than that? These things are pretty OP looking. Will they block the, oh, look at them. Wow, they shoot so fast and change so fast. Very, very impressive. Uh, I wonder how many, I wonder how much damage one of them can do. Can he block all these guys? No way. No way. He's not doing it fast. He blocked them all. <gasps> Whoa! One of them blocked all of those shots? Wow. Yeah, this is a good test. I wanted to test out some of these units because it looked, uh, I wonder can they stop the energy pistol? That's a, that's a good test. Look at them shooting all of them. They, it, dude, it shoots multiple times at once. They can't shoot them because it shoots multiple times at one time. It'll shoot, it'll zap and shoot the projectile. Whoa. So the question is, can he shoot? Can the energy pistol guys get their shots through? I mean, it's, is it technically a projectile? Well, he killed them all before he, before they could even get there. We got to move them up a little bit. <laughs> Dude, these units are so cool, man. All right, here we go. You're close enough, right? Oh, they can't stop the energy. Uh, obviously, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so what about a cannon? Let's try... Oh, a ballista. Let's try a ballista. Can it stop a ballista bolt? Might have been too close. Can't stop a ballista bolt, but they killed him somehow. Okay. Uh, what about a cannon? Where are the cannons? They move the they move things around. It's still under Napoleon. Okay. Yeah, they move things around. Can you stop a cannon? Cannot stop a cannon. So it's only like little projectiles. Interesting. So muskymen and archers. Cool, cool, cool. So then we have uh the box gun. The box gun is one of my favorite units uh in this update, simply because of what it does. So check this out. We we made some awesome stuff happen before with the box gun by uh putting that like essentially we had tons and tons and tons of peasants and uh, what it does is it shoots these little orbs and it makes people fight themselves so it'll it'll launch them up like this and then a couple of them will become like the designated boxer and they'll go around shooting so what happened last time was um they shot at him but then they also hit they also hit one of those these bombs and made the bomb go off and it caused all the units to like just explode in the air, which is really cool. Um, and I think it was just perf. I think it was just really good timing on the part of the on the part of the uh, placement of the units and the bombs and stuff because uh, it doesn't look like the it, it just shoots things in the air. So I don't. I'm not too sure if maybe the bombs actually do launch them up because that is. I mean, that's just so cool. Okay, let's see. There's a bomb right there. So let's... This will be a good test. Oh, yeah. Perfect test. See, it didn't launch the bombs. So I don't know what happened last time that made them go flying. Maybe it's because they were close to this center pillar right here. Which I think is like maybe... Units climb it. So maybe it's some kind of like elevation thing. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the Energy Swordmaster. Which the Energy Swordmaster is quite capable 
of taking out all of these guys by himself. Check this out. We got real Darth Maul over here. Yeah, look at that carnage. They can't even get close enough to punch. Oh, that one tried. And I haven't I actually haven't looked at what their health is. I haven't looked at what his health is yet, which I should probably do. So cool, man. So awesome. <laughs> he just kills he just killed they just kill them all. And so guys, in the coming days, uh, we're definitely gonna be doing way more testing of this. So if you have a battle idea, oh here we go. Boom! See that one warped them a little bit. See, they are a little different every time. So if you have any battle ideas, definitely leave that in the comment section below because I'd love to uh, check them out. Where's... Who are you going after? Oh, there there was a guy who was unconscious there. <laughs> he was, like, knocked out on the ground. Okay, so let's set up, like, a legitimate battle. I've got a Tesla unit. I've got a gravity guy. I've got two beamers. We'll do a couple energy sword guys. And uh, we're going to set up, like, a legitimate battle because... These units can be killed, and so we, we are going to put them to the test here. So, I wish... This thing is weird, the center pillar, because it, it... it I don't know if it works. It, I mean, it, something causes it to, like, freak out. So, I'm sure they'll tweak that. Projectile shield, we'll get one of these. The projectile shield is kind of OP. Uh, box gun, we'll have one of those. And we won't do an energy sword master just because they're so good. So... Let's pit the, this amount of stuff against a bunch of Vikings. I think Vikings versus energy swords? I don't know. Seems good. We got some headbutters. Because the gravity guy might actually suck all those guys in. We'll have some spear throwers. See what the spear throwers can do. We'll have an axe guy. And we'll have some footmen. I don't, this might be too many units for them to take out. I don't know. Let's let's test it. I'm thinking not, though. Just pulled all the Vikings in and killed all the Vikings. The Dude, the pistol guys. Wow. Uh-oh, here comes an energy sword guy. Oh, the pistol guys wrecking the beamers. I forgot about the beamers. Just absolutely annihilated. This guy seems pretty OP. Let's... let's Let's take him out. <laughs> the gravity guy just causes so much chaos. So what's happening over here with the... Uh... Oh, wow. It's a little different this time because of the gravity guy not being there. He is shooting the... Wow, look at this. They must not do a lot of damage. He just shot so many times at that. Beamers and spear throwers. We need some projectile stuff, guys. Wow. Okay, let's put in like a, like a cannon. I don't really, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what's a like good balance and what's not, you know? Like, uh, I do want to see, did, did these get changed? No, it did not get changed. Okay, so let's try a cannon. See what happens here. Look at just the shots and things flying all over the place. It's freaking glorious. This guy got shot by a beamer. He looks like he got burnt. That's very interesting. Oh, the range on that. Uh-oh. Totally different this time. The beamers, man, they can't be touched. Uh oh, the Tesla guy. Oh, the Tesla actually takes quite a bit of shots. So that was a little different that time. I wonder I wonder why. What if we do I'm just trying to find like a good balance, you know? Like I don't wanna be I don't wanna be too overbearing. I don't wanna like I want dude, you can totally do that too. <laughs> Which I thought about a cool ch oh <laughs> I thought about a cool challenge idea for this, uh, which maybe we'll do at the end of this video. I don't know, or maybe I'll save it for another video. Uh, but I had a really cool idea for for this. Oh, he's falling off. So we just got catapults left. What's the? I still haven't looked at the HP of these units. Oh gosh, the beamers, man. The beamers are so good. Let's check out the health. 60 health and energy pistols, 600 on the energy sword, 200 on Tesla, 3,500 on uh, gravity dude, 50 on the beamer, very low, 500 projectile shield, 500 box gun, 6,000 energy sword. Wow, so the beamers are like incredibly hard to take out. We need like a better projectile unit, like a, like a, a musket man or something. It's just crazy that they can take out this, this like, He's many people. 
these many these many people these many units <laughs> it's very late at night and but i really wanted to uh look at this look at this over here look at see what's happening i'm telling you this is like electrified or something giving power to that thing because look what's happening over here it's like sparking it's interesting that box gun is so funny oh that that catapult shot took out the uh beamer back there the box the box cannon is upside down that is it blue victory wow the just the addition of those muskets and taking out one of those beamers just changed the entire thing right there man this this is so cool i'm so glad they did this this is they have so much potential for this game and i can't wait to see what more they do i want to test this right here because he doesn't look like he does that much damage oh this is a good test uh-oh uh-oh See that? It brought him in that time. That one sucked him into. Kind of got, kind of got, kind of one due to the bombs there. Freaking projectile shield. Let's spam it up a little bit. I want to see like a peasant horde, you know, like zombies. The zombies can uh, take out this cannon thing. So that, those bombs got to be like right on a unit. He's holding his own. I can't believe this. This is crazy. They, they're getting closer. See, look, that one elevated them. So I was not wrong. So what must have happened was, but in the first in the in the other episode, a box gun, a bunch of box guns shot things at, at at some of those bombs, and one of those bombs, one exploded, one slowed everybody up in the air. The box gun launched them up. It was just glorious. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely make sure to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already, as well as leave your comments below telling me what you guys want to see. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.